I foolishly went to Ikea. Well, I didn't go to Ikea. I went to Ikea.com and got a shelf unit for the shipping uh, area. And I need like place for the boxes, backing board sleeves. It, when I tell you this situation frustrated the living soul out of me. I, I, mm, and like the video I was watching with the directions was like a weird art installation type video. Like it was so uninformative and it was skipping like massive steps. I was just annoyed. <laughs> Mailers, backing board, sleeves. Guillotine, the tape with my business logo on it. This is the UPS uh, protective sleeves that I put for the addresses. Envelopes with my business stuff on it. Thank you notes, certifications. And I put this into this. And then I got, uh, this is my expense sheet, receipts and stuff like that corner protectors, a new stamp. Ooh, I got this off of Etsy. An ink pad, a free ink pad came with it, but I need a bigger size. And this is like documents and personal stuff where I keep like W9s and whatnot. Up here is huh, the print of uh, Ali's. Didn't want to fit in the drawer over here and this already needs to be cleaned up, good God. It didn't want to fit in the drawer, so I, with the backing board and whatnot in it. So that's that. This is a test print, so this isn't really. That's a test print. Luna, I can do this without you. You're helping. You're not helping. I got the Maker's Yearbook uh, for a planner this year, and if you're any type of person who makes something for your business, this is this is the planner for you. And there's a spot in here for like your business plan, like which art fairs you want to go to, handmade markets, customer growth stack strategies, money, marketing, supplies. It's inventory. There's a lot of stuff in here and it's a lot of track your progress. And it's not just like, like, like what are you doing in sales? But like, it's, it's all very crafty. I bought the PDF version of the planner and just printed it out because I had waited too long and they was all sold out, the physical copies. One of my curators had DM'd me and was like, hey, you wanna be in the February show? And I was like, sure, I'd love to be in the February art show at Mill Hill, he was talking about, <laughs> oh my gosh. Then he was just like, oh yeah, the theme is love is love. I don't have anything love related. Um, in my back pocket and all I could think was let's go ahead and paint a couple it'll be fine April except I forget that sometimes uh I don't really draw a lot of men but you know I mean I can't I can I just don't draw a lot of men <laughs> there's actually a section in that planner that says like you know you should plan out your marketing for the year like you know like a broad scope of it and I had put down in January to do something for Valentine's Day too and I was just like I wasn't thinking something like too lovey lovey but something i could create for valentine's day and promote for valentine's day to the shop and i'm telling you my black tail didn't think about it until after this painting and um now i'm looking like what <laughs> what am i supposed to do and so i put a poll on instagram and was just like I would like to do a Valentine's Day painting, but I need it done by February 1st. And I said that on January 22nd. And I was like, do you believe in me? And the poll, the poll, I mean, the poll believed in me. But it was a couple of people that was like, nah, fam. <laughs>
I forgot to do the brush transition for like TikTok and Instagram videos at the beginning when I did the sketch. So I'm doing it with the underpainting. And yeah, I'm just smacking <laughs> the painting with a paintbrush. Lord, hold up, because I'm trying to be a better YouTuber. I'm going to show you an example of the brush transition. I throw it and I catch it on the other side. Here we go. Ah, and it's done. And the whole, yes, it's done. Okay, follow me on my socials. You know, color is so strange and, and it's like so unique. The blue I used made this uh, blue gray appear like it was this weird, warm, gross color. And I was, I knew, I knew I was fighting the strong saturation of the blue that was already there. And I understand it. But visually, as somebody watching this, you're like, why are you putting this poop green crap color on the painting? It'll be fine. I promise you, once the, the underpainting is covered, it, the color of the actual paint will be able to actually shine. But you, it's like your eyes do a weird trick on you to, to not read this as like, like a gray blue, but that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about this pattern on the background other than I thought it would be like nice and cool and like oh this is their vibe this is their aesthetic I don't know what I was thinking I cannot do this okay I need way more practice with this <laughs> I should have practiced on something good god I messed that all up but I am trying to figure out if I want to do a print or not uh, I just I don't know <laughs> I just I just was like this was a roller coaster but I, I mean, I liked how it turned out like I usually do. If I don't like something, I won't show it. But anyway, you know, check out my friends at ArtByAprilCooper.com and all that goodness. Thanks for supporting your girl. You made it to the end of the video. I'll see y'all next week. Mm -hmm.